why would Michael give Carly the flash drive or rather leave it with her? I said, shouldn't he have just kept it himself? But everybody keep acting like that's the only copy they got. That's the only copy. They swear it's just the only copy he told Jocelyn that, you know, once he does a job, once he gets hired to do a job, he doesn't keep the evidence. I said, you going to. I said, I don't believe it. I think he still, don't they usually, in, in that situation, don't they always have a copy just in case somebody decides to do something they don't like or to blackmail them or use this leverage or whatever? I said, I bet he got a copy. Because first of all, when you sent it on your phone, you had to send it on your phone to him or whatever. So that's a copy right there unless you deleted it off your phone. But then Michael got it on a flash drive. He received a text message. That copy is in his text messages. Or if he did delete it, I said, I said even if he deleted it, they still have a copy in the trash bin. And not just that, um, if you didn't listen to my other video, I said on certain phones, I think all phones, like when you delete something off your phone, and you plug it up to your laptop, they still have copies of that. If you did not know that, I learned that some years ago. That once you plug it up to your laptop, it's still the the deleted file that you deleted is still there. It's still there. So you might want to check into it. But yeah, I said, why would he leave it? Like, would it? especially if that's his only copy. Now, that ain't his only copy, okay. But I said, Carly, gonna do it. I think Carly will destroy it. Because she's on the trailer, on the preview, if you didn't see it. They just dropped it on the General Hospital channel. They just dropped it or whatever. She's on there saying, you know, you have to destroy it. You have to destroy the file and everything. Destroy the flash drive. And I said, that's why Michael should have killed me. Now, I don't agree with this. I thought they was in a better place. But they ain't in a better place because he's still trying to have him locked up. And I said, whether you have him locked up or not, that's not going to change the fact that his mama going to always, Carly going to always be sunny crazy. And a lot of people was talking in the conversation, and I was agreeing. They said how, you know, Michael went through all that trouble. And Michael and Jocelyn keep going back and forth about Sonny need to be in prison and all this other extra stuff. And Carly, the minute she found out, that he had the evidence she told him you had to get rid of it and she was upset about it i said he went through all the trouble and i've been saying it in my videos i said jocelyn and michael seem like they more upset than carly now of course she'll feelings hurt and everything because sonny chose nina over them and all this stuff but you going through all this trouble when your mama still loves sonny still crazy about him they always have each other back but they do say this with y'all carly has a decision to make and Carla realizes something. It says some moment she realized something. I don't know if she's going to realize that she has a choice to make. Is it going to be Sonny or Drew? I said, that's another choice. You can find something. That, like, I don't know. I mean, you did do it. Yeah, I think Drew going to end up being the one to say it's his fault. He is responsible for all of this. But it's like Carla said, she's the one who got Drew into it or whatever. But I said, look, they all did something. They all did something. But do y'all see how... Um, I said the difference is they never learned their lesson. Sonny never learned his lesson. He's still in the business after all these decades. And Nina never learns her lesson because she continues to do stupid stuff instead of proving these folks wrong. I think she should have. I don't agree with how they're trying to make it all about her. But as of right now, it is about all about her because she never learns her lesson. That's my personal opinion. I think Carly was in the wrong. I think Nina was in the wrong. But Nina continues to be in the wrong. If they telling you, if these people... Over here telling you, the ones that's closer to Willow is telling you that the only way to get to her is to get her space and allow her to choose. All you got to do is make the effort and continue to make the effort. And something in her, because she's already been searching for her mother, even though it's you. <laughs> and you've been giving her a hard time since the Char Charlotte days. I would say Char Charlotte. Since the Charlotte days, like, they don't overpower the fact that she got her your blood flowing through her. She got a desire to learn you, learn about your family, especially if she's going to sp be spending more time with Liesl and all these other folks that's on y'all uh, family side. But you decide to take things into your own hands. Now it's going to be delayed. Now I still think that down the line that they would have a relationship. That depends, though, because they over here been dragging Willow whole storyline, so we don't know where they headed in that, that direction. But I said it would have been better if she would have at least played alone. Like, because they never going to, you never going to, you and, and Carly now are different. <laughs> you can do something and they would be like, they ain't going to forgive you. Carly do something and she be forgiving fast in the mood. That's just the way it is. <laughs> That's the way it's always been. Just like Carly and Sonny always end up back together. But yeah, um. She's on the preview. Carla's on the preview telling him, telling Michael to destroy the flash drive. She says she would not sacrifice Sonny to save herself. So Michael is like, then do it to save your family. And Drew is talking to Trina, uncle. What's his name? Uncle Zeke, uncle something. Why he back? They said Curtis is supposed to have a birthday party. Uh, So I don't know if that's a clip from the birthday party. That's why he's talking to him. I don't know if 
um, Trina's uncle is into some type of PI business. I don't know yet. I don't know. But yeah, he, Drew is talking to him and said someone, someone has to. What did he say? Where he go? Someone has to go down for it. Um, they show Nina being shocked. Somebody catches her off guard or whatever. And they show Ned. He's talking to someone and he's saying it was you all alone. And I said, has he discovered who it is? Everybody been talking about Ned got these connections. He can use his connections and all this other stuff. So has he used them? Has he found out who did it? Because, you know, Martin assured Nina that no one's going to find out because, you know, it wasn't her voice or nothing. It was Martin. But Martin could cave. All they got to do is go get Martin. <laughs> I said, really, Nina? Really, Carly, Sonny? Everybody got connections in that town. Somebody could find out who said what. They could find out it was Martin, and they could go question Martin, and Martin can reveal it, willingly or unwillingly. <laughs> he could tell who did it. That's all they got to do. But I said, you know, something, even though I don't agree with how this whole Nina thing played out because, you know, everybody got some blame to share in this situation. I think an interesting storyline would be if everyone decides to set Nina up since she don't want to learn her lesson. <laughs> set her up. Like, at first I thought Sonny had discovered it because, again, he got connections. He got power. He could find out who did it one way or another. All they got to do is start thinking about Olivia and Sonny talking in public and all that and all the pieces going to connect. But, yeah, interesting we had everyone set up. What has Nina wanted the most? Her daughter. And um, also Sonny. So, Sonny, Willow. Willow could say, you know, you can be a part of my life. I want to be in your wedding. And Sonny could say you're going to marry her. They probably going to go in that direction anyways, y'all. Where she's exposed at the wedding. She's exposed at the wedding because she's been running around interfering. And she didn't learn her lesson because she was telling Ava she's going to try to get Drew and, Drew and Carly to um turn on each other she could get them to turn on each on each other or whatever so she definitely ain't learned her lesson so the best way to do it is to set her up so sonny lisa will i let her know she ain't gonna have nothing to do with her that's probably what they're gonna do y'all i don't agree with how it went about but nina need to learn her lesson she should have just played along or not just play along either because eventually you're gonna get tired of acting and it's gonna be discovered but just show your daughter that you're trying. Forget about all these other people. They may have been close to her and all that, but again, you got she got your blood flowing through her. But well, I think they dragging all this to eventually bring Nell back. I don't know, though. I think that would be interesting to see, because Nell, look, the lady that played Nell, as long as it's the lady that played her, she be, look, the way she dropped them tears and the way Esme dropped them tears, I thought for sure they was going to be related, the way they them two be acting. But, yeah, them two, they be playing their part, boy. Look, them, they had the tongue lady that be uh, on Bold and Beautiful. She be dropping on tears fast. I liked the whole Mara West uh, scene when Ava had passed away. Look, everybody be playing their part real good. But, yeah, I said they could expose her. Well, I guess I could do the, uh, also, if you haven't checked out my spoiler video, it's posted. But, uh, again, I could run through it real fast. It said Carly has decisions to make. And that's about the flash drive. She's staring at the flash drive trying to decide. Jocelyn expresses her feeling because she can't hold it in no more. I said, I would think that it would be about um, about uh, Nina and Sonny or either Sonny himself. It said Carly realizes something. They say, it, they say a moment makes her des make her decision. I said, oh, Lord, hopefully it's not to turn Sonny in, even though, you know, he don't stay in jail anyway. So it really doesn't matter. And he told her to do it. So Trina is shocked. Portia receives a surprise. Brooklyn and Chase celebrate. Will oversees encouragement, a bit of good news. Lucy says nice thing about Maxie. Um, Curtis gives Drew advice. Brooklyn worries. Kevin supports Laura during her time of need. Elizabeth gives good news. Valentine and Sonny meet up. Drew seeks an attorney. Oh, it's um, uh, it's um, Trina uncle and an attorney. Maybe he's the attorney. That's why he's talking to him. I just thought about that. Yeah. Um, they said Carly makes a big decision. Nina doubts. And Martin reassures her. Carly makes a request of someone. Jocelyn asks Dex something. She makes a request of Dex. Dante is worried. Tracy accuses someone of something. Nina and Sonny are interrupted. I said, oh, Lord. Tracy confides in Finn. Austin warns Ava. TJ helps a patient. Chase is caught off guard. Is that all it? Yeah, I think that's all it. And I said, what did Mason, why does, what does Mason want with Sonny? I said, they always want something for Sonny. But I think all this going to play into each other. We'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, that's it, y'all. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, deuces.